welcome to my story time. This is story time with Miss Fun. And I hope you are ready for a cool story. So today I found this book. I bought it a while ago, but I haven't read it very much. But I found it and I really, really liked it. Do you see the illustrations here? It's a tiger and a little boy. And let me show you first the picture over here to see if you guys can. Do you see this world where this boy lives? How does it look? Does it look like a happy and clean and healthy place? Not really, right? Let's see what the story tells us. This book is called The Last Tiger. And it's written by Rebecca Elliott. This book is about being kind, I think. But we'll talk about it at the end. The Last Tiger. Luca lived in a strange world where the people had forgotten what was important. There were no trees, no plants, and no animals. Can you imagine that? A world with no trees and no plants and no animals? That doesn't sound like a very nice one. Except one, the last tiger. Does he look like a happy tiger? Not so much. One night, the tiger's paw got caught in an old tin can. Luca ran to see what the noise was. A tiger? <gasps> Look at his face. He looks very surprised. There was no other animal, so I would be surprised too. He gently pulled the tiger's giant paw from the can. The tiger smiled and nodded. And then he ran away. Wait! Where do you think he's going? Luca followed the tiger until he disappeared into his dark and secret cave. Then the tiger emerged with a present for Luca. Look what he brought him. A plant, a flower. Thank you. He was saying thank you for saving, saving his foot from that can, huh? After that, they became best friends. Look at that. But they only played together when no one was looking. Or so they thought. They're having so much fun, huh? One night, a giant net pushed the tiger up in the sky. No, cried Luca. Splam! Look at that. They have a big giant net. And they grab the tiger. Luca tried to get near his friend, but the crowds were too big. You see all these people? We only see the shadows of them, kind of. But then they put the tiger in a cage. The last tiger, the people shouted. Luca felt so lonely and scared. He decided to get in the tiger's secret cave. To his amazement, inside the cave, he found a beautiful garden. Can you imagine if you lived in a world where there was no plants, no gardens, no animals, nothing that beautiful. And then you walk in and you see it. Look, there's a bee, there's a butterfly, there's some flowers, there's a snail. How beautiful, huh? 
Luca rushed back and pu pushed his way through the crowds. I know about your secret garden. I think we should show them. The tiger smiled and nodded. Luca turned to the crowd. We have, we've got something spectacular to show you. Follow us. So look, they're opening up the cage here, letting the tiger out. Luca and the tiger took the people through the cave door and into the garden. Whoa! Everyone remembered what the world once looked like and they longed to make it happen again. Please teach us, they said to the tiger. And the tiger smiled and nodded. The end. What do you think you need to make a world like this or to keep our world like that? Do you have any ideas? We have, to we have to take very good care of our world, of our planet, and of our trees, and of our water. So we have to be very responsible. I know you guys have lots of ideas of what to do. Maybe we can share them some other day. For now, I'm going to leave you with this pretty picture of the last tiger and Luca. Thank you for joining me for this story time. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.